Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Recently, DxO Software released an update to Pure Raw. It's now Pure Raw 3. It is a paid upgrade. Now they do have a fully working free trial and that's actually what I'm going to be using today because I haven't yet paid for it. I'm going to demonstrate how to use it as a standalone app and as a plugin in Lightroom. Let's start with how to use it as a standalone app. I'm going to open it up and you'll notice when you open it up, because I'm using the fully working free trial, you'll get this screen and it says I have 31 days left. I just downloaded it today. And all you need to do then is click try demo and it is a fully working free trial. It's not limited or crippled in any way. So you'll be able to see exactly how it works. And uh, as is the habit nowadays with a lot of software, you'll get this kind of information screen, which is annoying. And you could uh, get rid of it down here. You could go to this drop down, I guess, click on it. But I noticed just now for the free trial, it isn't doing anything. So probably once you pay for it, you could get rid of it. So this screen doesn't open every single time. So let's close it. Now this is a uh, pure raw three. I'm going to maximize it and to use it as a standalone app, all you need to do is load files into it. Of all the so-called AI noise reduction applications available today, PureRaw is the easiest to use. So all you need to do is open a file into it and it does do bulk uh, processing as well. So you could open up multiple images at the same time and edit them all at once. Now on my desktop, I have a Nikon RAW file. I'm going to open it up and you'll see that it's prompting me to download a DxO Optics module. Um, for every different lens you use, uh, when you load an image that was shot with that lens, it's going to prompt you one time to download that Optics module for that specific lens. It only will do it once. So if I open going forward in the future, if I open up any other images shot with this same exact lens, a Nikon 200 to 500 f5.6 lens, it won't go through this process again. So I'm just going to click save and there it is. It's downloaded and done. Now you'll see it's kind of a very clean interface. And if you did have multiple images opened up at the same time, they'd all be lined up on the left hand side over here and you could select them all at once and edit them all at once. Now to just view the image, just double click on it and you'll get it in this viewer. And it's really nothing done here. It's just, you're looking at the image. And here you could see that there is a lot of noise in this raw file. It's an unprocessed raw file. So just to close the viewer down, click on the little X in the corner. They actually call that the light box. Now to actually edit the image to get rid of the noise, you need to go to the lower right hand side and click on this process now button. And when you do that, you'll get this dialog box and you have the options to use four different types of raw processing and denoising technologies. And if you're wondering what each of these do, all you need to do is hover over this little question mark and it gives you an explanation about each of these. You could see at the top, it says HQ is perfectly well suited for images captured under normal lighting conditions and uses the simpler, but still efficient HQ noise reduction. Prime produces outstanding results for low light images thanks to DxO's exclusive Prime noise reduction, but takes more time to process. D Prime produces breathtaking results thanks to DxO's exclusive Deep Prime Deep Learning technology. Fast processing requires a mid to high range GPU. And then finally, Deep Prime XD. Deep Prime XD, more, power <laughs> more powerful version of Deep Prime, which produces enhanced details. Its effect can be previewed in the magnifier and significantly increases the processing time depending on your configuration. So, if you have an older machine with an older GPU, you probably won't be able to use D prime XD and you may not be able to use D prime either. So this definitely is an application for newer uh, computers. So we're going to go with the D prime XD on this image. And then what optical correct corrections do you want to do to correct for lens softness? And then you have different 
uh, degrees of lens softness, soft, standard, strong, hard. Let's just go with standard for this image, correct for vignetting, uh, correct for chromatic aberration, correct lens distortion, and then image crop to original ratio. Because it's going to correct image distortion, uh, you may lose some pixels on either side, so it will just crop those out. That's all. Output format, DNG, JPEG, TIFF. I like to try to preserve the raw format throughout my workflow, so I'm going to stay with DNG. And where do you want to save the new file? So it doesn't touch the original raw file, so it's non-destructive. It's going to create this new DNG file in this case, and I'm going to just save it in the same folder as the original image folder, which is the desktop in this case, and I could choose where to save it. So I'm just going to click Start Processing. And because I am using Deep Prime XD, it will take a little longer. You can see there's a progress bar at the bottom going across. And it says, did you know with DXL Pure Raw 3 extension enabled, you can start processing images directly from Finder. So this is unique to the Mac. I'm not sure if this is available for a PC. And all this really means is that if I enable this, I haven't enabled it yet, I could just right click on the image on my desktop and then a little menu will appear and I'll be able to just edit it directly into uh, Pure Raw 3 from there. Now, what do I want to do? Do I want to export it to a certain location or do I want to view the results or do I want to just see it in Finder? I'm going to view the results. And when you do that, you'll have the image here with this uh, split view. And you can see there's the original image with all the noise. And you can see how it beautifully cleared up the noise. So it did a really nice job. Now you could go down here in the lower right and you could click on different view modes or just magnifying modes. So there you could see it really did a nice job. And then when you're done again with the viewer, just click this little X in the right hand corner. And then to browse your optimized pictures more comfortably, you can hide unprocessed pictures using the filters available in the command bar. What that's saying here, let's just click OK, is that I could hide this if I wanted to, but it's fine. So we're done. We're, we're actually done. It did everything it needed to do. We're just going to close down Pure Raw. And it saved it in this folder, in the same folder as the original file. No, the original file was on my desktop folder. So here is the new folder right here, or the new image, I should say, that cleaned image up right there. So that's it. That's how you use it as a standalone app. Now let's talk about how to use it as a plugin in Lightroom. And I have a different image for this. I have this uh, photo of this baby gorilla. You can see that there is a considerable amount of noise on this. This too is an unprocessed RAW file. Uh, this image I didn't particularly like. I thought it was a great idea when I took it. Uh, the uh, zoo was having a party. One of the gorillas was having a birthday. So in their enclosure, they put a bunch of presents with treats inside the presents and they had this like, you know, all decorated for a birthday. And when the gorillas came out, uh, they, you know, of course, tore into the presents to get the treats. And the baby gorilla was in this kind of little depression here. And I thought I would frame it, but I just, this blurry part here, I made too large and it's just distracting. But it is an excellent image to use to demonstrate a noise reduction application like DxO's Pure Raw 3. So that's what we're going to do. Now to use it, uh, it's a little bit different than other plugins you may be familiar with um, calling from Lightroom. For Pure Raw 3, you need to go up to File, down to Plugin Extras, then over and down to Process with P DxO Pure Raw 3 right there. So just do that, click on that. And what will happen is, is you'll get the well because i'm using the demo we get this so we got to clear out of that and then it because i've never done this before it's asking me for permission now it won't do this every single time it's just because i've never done it before the first time it's going to ask that now this was shot with a different nikon lens a nikon 70 to 200 f a 2.8 lens so it needs to download that so we'll just click save you can see the download there we get this screen again again we'll use the same settings D Prime XD, same settings, DNG, exact same thing. We'll scroll down um, in the original folder. We'll save it there and just like that. And don't export it after 
uh, processing. We're not going to do anything. Just start processing it. Let's just do that. Now, I believe, I've never done this before, I am in a collection. I believe because this is saving it to the original folder um, and the way I'm calling DxO Pure Raw 3 from the, um, you know, not the typical way you do in Lightroom, I don't think it will add it to the collection. I'll have to go to the folder that this image is in. So we'll just click OK. Thank you for using Do Not Show Again. <laughs> So we'll just get rid of that. See, and it didn't add it to the collection. So I need to go to that folder to look at it. So we'll just right click on it and we'll go to folder and library right there. And let's find our image. Of course I was at the zoo. So I have a lot of photos of the animals at the zoo. Okay, here is the one and it should be a .dng file. So it's Probably this one. No, it's this one. No, up oh, there. And it just it it put it here. It what it did was it created its own collection right here, DXL Pure Raw three, and it put it in that collection. It's just I was impatient and waiting for it. So what we're going to do is we're going to move this to the original collection collection I had it in, which is a targeted collection. All I need to do is hit the B key on my keyboard and it adds it to the targeted collection. And you can see that it's here now. So let's go over to the develop module because that's a better viewer. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of the uh, film strip. I'm still gonna hit that, get rid of the film strip. There we go. And this is the original image, let's zoom in. Let's go up to view and we're going to lock the zoom position and let's go to the deep prime three version. And you can see right there. So there's before and there's after. I don't think it did as good a job on this one. My personal opinion. So there's before and there's after. You can see for and after. The uh, gorillas are challenged to shoot because the glass, plexiglass is very, very thick. So it's hard to get a very sharp image. And you can see that the uh, image isn't that sharp still. So there's before and there's after, but it did the best it could. Now I could run this through an application like Topaz Labs Sharpen AI uh, to sharpen the subject, which would be the baby gorilla. That's probably part of the reason why I didn't like the original image to begin with because it wasn't um, perfectly sharp. But it gives you a good idea of how to use uh, DxO's Pure Raw 3 as a Lightroom plugin. In the description below this video, I'll have a link to their website. Um, as you notice, they do have a fully working free trial. It works, although it says on the website a 30 day, it says 31 days once you load it, so whoop de doo And um, they do have it at a lower price if you own a previous version of Pure Raw. So you could save um, some money uh, by purchasing it if you're upgrading from an older version. Uh, but again, I'll have that all listed in the description below this video. Let me know in the comments if you'd like me to do more videos on Pure Raw 3, and I'll actually purchase the application if you do. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.